Okay, I'm just going to pick the center here to let you see since I already started on it. Dad, blame it. I always push you to the end because, boy, I put a lot of arm in it trying to depth cut it. Now notice, I never, hardly ever, will you ever see me touch the floor. There ain't a handful of heads that I've seen that give me enough short turn height on the bottom. That's always the area that needs to have meat welded on it. So I, I pretty much just... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the bottoms. You've seen how I laid it. Now I'm going to turn the head over and this is where the real fun is. It wasn't a lot to do except on the width on the bottoms. However, on the roof is a horse of a whole nother color. Now on to the real serious part here. We're going to lay that port and change that turn angle a few degrees. Alright, I'm going to go all the way up this time. I'm also on this side here, see I got to pull toward me Take a look at that son of a gun this way. Wow. All right. So we got it going on right here on this one. You know, I think what I'm going to do, just to show you what a difference, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch spurs this one time because this side here has got the blended in and reshaped bullet nose exhaust and then this one right here I haven't touched it so I'm gonna go ahead and chop and finish this one side this one time so you can see what that thing stock right there looks like compared to what uh, the finished product is with a 1405 alright all right. now this is tricky because not sure up there how much I, I know I've done this to 1405. Just, God, it's a lot to cut out.
Now look what a difference a day makes. Alright. Just for eye openers, this was really flat as it hit the guide. Now she's got a, a layer in where I dug in on the side. It's got a turn, it's got a it's got a gradual degree upward lift. So it ain't the air and fuel just or the excuse me, the hot air gas just ain't coming in and hitting and banking off. That alone is worth quite a few numbers. We won't go into raw size. But as you can see, uh, I know it's shiny. I'm trying to take and close off some of the light that might make it, I don't know. I know that on the camera, looking through it lens and then looking at it once it's done is different, but also I'll bring this light in here too. Um, you can just tell. All right, so, wow. That right there is it. Now there's some finessing um, that I'm going to do just, you know, with my little finger where I go in there and lightly touch it and touch the bottoms. Y'all have seen me do that a thousand times, so I'm pretty much going to let this be it, except on the bowl when I do the valve job. But this is pretty much what all the uh, exhausts are going to get, raising the roof on it, so... I guess that'll be it for right now. We'll get back here when we get a bunch more of these done on the other three cylinder heads and the pair that I got right here to finish up raising the roof and doing the guide thing. So that's all for right now.